I'm all about that Pokemon. Pikachu, Charmander's going to hear my story. <laughs>
What I ended up doing was using the update RetroPie script option, and then I did the install from source or compile binaries. And uh, it says it takes 16 to 20 hours. They aren't joking. It took a very, very long time. I had to let the pie run overnight, and in the morning I had to go to work. And when I came back from work, it was ready. So make sure you overclock first, and make sure you have plenty of time to uh, allow it to do its thing. The RetroPie script has tons of emulators in there. MAME actually emulates tons and tons of different machines. Uh, I actually cut it down a whole lot here and just did like uh, the popular consoles past like 1985 or maybe a little bit earlier than that with the Atari 2600 but this is where you get to kind of customize your install and pick what you want and get rid of what you don't want so I really enjoyed this part actually picking what gets installed onto my uh, onto my new my new toy here Now this is pretty much what you can expect to be seeing for the next 16 hours or so. Um, let me know if you guys overclock before you do all this compiling how long it took. Just let me know in the comments and uh, we can compare. But I figured it's got to be so yeah, right where they said 16 to 20 hours before I got back from work and checked on the pie and saw that I had some more options popping up. So I'll kind of just let you see uh, the stuff that I picked as I went through the setup. Uh, you might want to pick differently, but what I picked works. Make sure your USB controller is plugged in and then type these commands into the command line. This will bring up a 
script that will record your button presses and then store them in a configuration file for all the emulators that you have installed with the setup script previously. I forgot to film this part, so I apologize for the lack of videography. To get ROMs onto your Raspberry Pi, you can either drag and drop uh, right from My Computer Network Raspberry Pi on your main computer. You can also plug a flash drive into the Pi. The Pi will put folders on it for all your different ROMs, and you can load it up and plug it back into the Pi, and the Pi will copy all the files over to where they need to be. Now we just need to throw a coat of paint onto our case and we will be good to go. Alright, so here we go. We got our ROMs all on our configured RetroPie system. We're booting it up into Emulation Station. I ended up getting a different controller than the N64 one. Uh, the N64 joystick turns out is not uh, compatible. I could get everything but the actual joystick working on RetroPie. So I ended up buying a Logitech F310. It's a wired controller. So there's the the retro controller that wasn't compatible. There's the new one. It has more buttons, so I'm happy with it. Um, so let's have a look at what we got for emulators, and let's give this thing a test run. Uh, test run. That's a cue. Oh, text messaging break. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the N64 doesn't run super great. I haven't tried it with a controller that can do everything, though. My arm's ready. Yeah. I'm about to play. <laughs> Oh man, push start, see if it gets better. Start not working, push a bunch of buttons. Push select. There you go. <laughs> oh no. I want Mario, Luigi, the princess, the warp dude. No, this is single player. Oh. Oh, you gotta press select. Now you got 150cc, oh, go back up. 150cc, uh, 100cc, and 150cc. Okay. I got a feeling this isn't gonna work. I want the princess. I think she's, no, I think that was Toad. I think the princess was there. <laughs> There's like, guess who? <laughs> Press A again? Yeah. <laughs> I, I forget how you play this. Oh, that part is better. Whoa. It's so slow. 
Hey, dude, hey. Other, other button. I don't know. Triggers, triggers. Trigger makes a hop. What are you doing, girl? You're going. Try the D pad. I don't know, dude. <laughs> select. Oh, select. What the hell? Select is go? What the hell? Oh, that's horrible. I, is this a straight line? Okay. Yeah, you D pad with select. Okay. That actually looks pretty good. So it turns out that uh, my quick and dirty configuration of the Logitech controller wasn't exactly accurate, but the N64 emulator actually ran pretty good with Mario Kart. We also tested it with Super Mario 64, or I think it's just Mario 64, but that was actually somewhat playable as well. All of the other emulators seem to work much better. Konami! Let's hope the start button works. No, A, select, start, B, Y, X, trigger, triggers. There we go, the clickers. The clickers. The clickers. <clears throat> I'm all about that Pokemon Pikachu. Chop man is for the hair blast toys. <laughs> Push some buttons, yo. Oh, start that. No, select. Fuck that shoe. So I gotta skip through all these. <laughs> So I'm really happy with the way that my RetroPie turned out. Um, N64 is the only emulator that really has any bugs, but I think those will get worked out. Uh, the Raspberry Pi B Plus really does have the horsepower to handle all of this. Um, I really like my Logitech controller too. It seems that I'm owning more and more Logitech things and they're just fantastic. I'm probably going to upgrade to the F710 I think it is, is the wireless one. Uh, either that or I'll get a Bluetooth dongle. You can also configure uh, PS3 controllers, which would be very cool to have. So let me know how you guys liked my video in the comments, and let me know if you guys made, uh, made your own RetroPie using my instructions. I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching.